Hey guys, how's it going? So I just got done taking my part 107 exam. And I can tell you guys that after three months of studying, and yes, it took three months, I probably took longer than I needed to, but after three months of studying, watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos, taking the FAA practice exams, reading a bunch of stuff online, actually signing up for an online study course on how to pass your part 107, I took my test today and well, I didn't fail. That's right, I passed my part 107 and I'm so stoked about it. And so what I wanna do with this video is kind of show you guys the process that I went through and, uh, and then I'm also gonna tell you guys what my score was. And spoiler alert, I did pretty good. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time visiting my channel, this is 51 Drones and my name is Russ. Feel free to click on that subscribe button and also that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So like I said, I took my part 107 exam today and it was actually a lot more stressful than I thought it was gonna be. You know, I studied pretty hard and uh, I expected it to be a little bit stressful, but when I got in there, I was pretty nervous and, and so I actually I decided to go for a walk today. Uh, my neighbor has some acreage and he's got this beautiful walking trail around it and uh, it just feels good to get outside in nature because I've kind of been cramming for the last week and so it feels good to get out here and just get some walking done. But, but anyway, the whole process of studying for your part 107, um, it was interesting for me because I hadn't done any kind of studying like that for quite a long time, at least to take an exam. You know, I do some reading of research and stuff like that for my job, but I really don't take tests. And so it was kind of hard to, uh, to get into that mindset that, okay, I'm gonna take a multiple choice test right now. And also that test is gonna be kind of tricky. And it really was kind of tricky, but I'll get to that in just a second. You see, when I first got into this hobby, I really had no intention of pursuing a path that would lead to me becoming a commercial drone pilot. I just wanted to start flying drones and also have a YouTube channel to keep track of my progress as I learned how to fly a drone. Then it kind of started to take off and people started watching and subscribing and I realized that I really might have something here. Then I started reading about all the ways that you can earn money by being a commercial drone pilot. There are so many and the opportunities are growing at an exponential rate. So I have a full-time career and I love what I do, but there's gonna come a day where hopefully I can retire. And I can't think of a more enjoyable retirement job than flying a drone and getting paid for it. And who knows, if things continue to go as well as they have, maybe retirement will come a little earlier than I thought. So once I made the decision to pursue my part 107, it actually took me quite a while to actually get serious and get it done. And the biggest reason for that I thought that once I had my part 107 license that I wouldn't be able to fly as a hobbyist anymore. And let's be honest, right now, strictly flying for recreational purposes is great. There's some things that you can do as a hobbyist that you can't do as a part 107 pilot. One great example is being able to fly at night. If you're flying recreationally, you can fly at night. But if you're flying commercially as a part 107 pilot, you need what's called a waiver. It doesn't make sense, I know, but that's how it currently is. So I don't fly at night very often, but I just like the fact that if I wanted to, I could and be legal. And so then I started to do some research and I contacted a well-known drone attorney by the name of John Ruprecht. This guy is a gold mine of information when it comes to drones, you guys, especially in regards to legal issues. So I'm gonna put his website down in the description if you wanna check it out. Anyway, I learned a lot from him. And one thing that I learned is that once you get your part 107 certificate, you have the option to either fly as a hobbyist or commercially. You're just required to decide and document what umbrella you're flying under before you launch. Is this flight gonna result in the furtherance of a business? Then it's a commercial part 107 flight. Or is it just for personal fun and enjoyment? Then it falls under section 336 for hobbyists. I was so relieved to learn that. So it's that day that I signed up for a part 107 study course. Now there's a lot of them out there, but the one that I signed up for is Drone Pilot Ground School from UAV Coach. You see, I had watched some part 107 YouTube videos and I did some of the FAA practice exams, which was all good, but I decided to go with Drone Pilot Ground School because I not only wanted to pass this thing, I wanted to destroy it. I wanted to get as much knowledge as I could, not only to pass it, 
but also just to generally become a more informed pilot. I think I owe that to you guys. Quick story, you guys, I was visiting with a guy the other day, actually it was about a month ago, and he said that his son was gonna take the part 107 too, because he wanted to do some real estate stuff, and he knew that he had to get that. So I asked him, has he been studying? And he said, no, he's just gonna study over this weekend, and he's gonna take it on Monday. <laughs> I was like, really? Well, that's pretty impressive. So, so I guess he passed, but how much of that is he really gonna retain? I bet if he took that today, like a month later, he would fail miserably. And that made me kind of angry, but it also motivated me to work even harder on studying because I wanted to crush this test. And so that's why I watched all of the video tutorials from Drone Pilot Ground School. I emailed them with a couple of questions that I had and they got back to me within 24 hours. And I took their practice exams like eight times. And once I finally got 90% on two of those practice exams, that's when I scheduled my test. Okay, so you guys have been waiting to find out what my score was. Before I tell you, I want you to check out this place because it's so cool. So check this out. Pretty nice, right? We're pretty lucky to have this in our backyard. Anyway, my score. I got a 95%, you guys. I missed three questions and I was so mad because I didn't miss them because I didn't know them. I missed them because they're tricky. The questions are really tricky, you guys. They try to throw you off by putting in just a little bit of different wording and it's really not fair. So although I'm happy with 95%, I really think I would have got 100% if I would have went back and read through the questions one more time. I checked it over twice, but I think if I would have done it three times, I would have gotten every single question correct. I cannot stress this enough, you guys. If you decide to take your part 107, I would check it over three times before you click on that finish button. Now, my test was pretty well balanced. It had kind of a slightly higher percentage of sectional chart questions. But honestly, if I hadn't used Drone Pilot Ground School, I don't think I would have passed this thing. And if I would have passed, I probably would have got like a 70%. The practice exams that they have are pretty much identical to the questions that I had on my test. There was another guy there that took the test the same time as me, and it took us both about 40 minutes. He got a 93% and I got a 95%. And I didn't ask him how he studied. Now, one little hiccup that I had, the first 10 to 15 minutes are spent sitting in the proctor's office, filling out some paperwork, entering you into the computer and stuff like that and then you have to verify all the information on their screen. And what happened to me is I verified the information, but I missed that my name was missing one letter. And so I had to actually spend an extra half an hour after I was done because we had to make contact with the FAA and figure out how to fix that. But it did get fixed and, uh, and I got my certificate. And so now what I have to do is go on the computer and go to a certain website, enter my information, and, and then they will send me the actual card. And so I'll get that in, in quite a while. I think they said it you know, anywhere from seven to 10 days, but I've seen online where it takes up to three months to actually get your card. Now, if you guys are interested in using the same study course that I did, I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna check it out. So I know this video sounds like a sponsored video, but it's really not, you guys. I just really believe in this study course so much. There's a couple things that are really cool about it. Number one, they have a money back guarantee. So if you use their study course and you do not pass your part 107, they will reimburse you the $150 fee. And that's just incredible. And then the other cool thing, it's a lifetime membership. So once you join Drone Pilot Ground School, you have a lifetime membership. So every 24 months when you have to renew your part 107, then you can go ahead and use this study course again and it'll last the rest of your life. So I reached out to these guys and I asked them if they would be willing to work with me in bringing you guys a little bit of a discount and they agreed. And so I'm so excited to let you guys know that if you sign up for Drone Pilot Ground School and you enter the promo code 51 drones, you're gonna get a $50 discount from their course. So a big thanks to those guys and check it out you guys. It really is a great program. Do you need it to pass? Probably not. I'm sure many people have passed simply by watching YouTube videos and such, 
But if you truly want to become a well-informed and more professional pilot, then I suggest checking it out. Now, am I going to use my part 107 to try to get some drone jobs? I might. And if I do, I'll let you guys know and I'll let you know the process that I go through as it happens. I just want to say you guys, on this channel, I really hope you get a little something of value from each of my videos. You're all so supportive of me, so I just want to make sure that I'm giving you something in return for that support. I'm coming up on 25,000 subscribers right now pretty quickly and needless to say, I'm pretty pumped about it. Also, my Mavic 2 is going to be here in a couple of days, so there's a lot of exciting stuff going on on my channel. Hey, down in the comments, tell me what you guys would do if you had your Part 107 certificate. What would be a fun way to earn money with your drone? If you did get anything of value out of this video today, please click on that thumbs up button and let me know that you liked it. I want to thank you guys for subscribing and also for watching. As always, fly safe and fly smart.